Hello everyone, this is Kayvon from MBT. In this session, we're going to have a series of simulations of battery in OpenFOAM software. For simulating with OpenFOAM, we need to work in the Linux environment. And for that, we're going to use Ubuntu. And then we install OpenFOAM and PowerView in the Ubuntu. So first, uh, for installing Ubuntu, you need to go to the website of ubuntu.com and then from downloads, you should select the latest version of Ubuntu, which is 22.04 LTS. After installing the Ubuntu, you need to install OpenFOAM and PowerView. PowerView is the software that helps us to post-process the results after simulation with OpenFOAM. Uh, before it was uh, done separately, you need to uh, separately install OpenFOAM and PowerView, but today with the latest version of OpenFOAM, which is version 10, both these softwares uh, are installed together, so we don't need to install them separately. So you need to go to the website of openform.org and from downloads you choose the openform v10 which v10 stands for uh, version 10 of openform and you just need to uh, select these four commands that are shown below into the Ubuntu terminal and the installation process will start automatically. It will download the packages of OpenFOAM and PowerView and install the software. There are several useful commands in the Ubuntu terminal that we use regularly during the simulations we have in OpenFOAM that we're going to uh, have a look at them. The first one is ls. This command uh, lists files and directories. For example, if you're in folder A and you want to see uh, what other uh, folders or components you have in this folder, you use the ls. The next one is cd. cd is used to change the current working directory. For example, uh, if you want to go to the opt uh, directory, you use cd slash opt. Or if you want to progress in the opt directory to see uh, what is inside and go beyond, you use again the cd slash opt slash openform10. So now, uh, by typing this in the Ubuntu terminal, you are in the openform10 folder or openform10 directory. The next command is cd dot dot. Uh, this command helps you to move one directory back, so it's very useful when you want to uh, move back uh, in the directory. The next one is cp. Uh, this command copy files or group of files or directories. For example, if you use uh, cp dot slash abc space dot slash def in the Ubuntu terminal, it copies the abc folder to def folder. So here the def folder is the destination and you're copying the abc folder to this destination folder. The next one is cp hyphen r. This uh, command is uh, used for copying files recursively while preserving the file attributes, such as timestamp. For example, if you want to uh, copy the installation folder uh, of your open form to your desktop, you can use uh, this command in the terminal as cp-r dot slash opt slash openform10 uh, and this will copy this uh, installation folder of your openform which is already in opt to the destination folder which is uh, dot slash home 
slash k mustafi in my case slash desktop slash open form so here you can see that i have created uh, a folder in my desktop which is called open form the form is uh, in capital letters uh, and i will copy the open form 10 uh, from the opt to the folder of open form in the desktop so by this i can uh, have a backup of the original open form 10 uh, files like the tutorials and everything else in my desktop so from now on i will work on the folder yeah, the installation folder of open form in my desktop and i won't change the original data files so the last one is fluent mesh to foam that we're going to use uh, in our first simulation uh, and that is uh, used for uh, creating the mesh file uh, for example if you have created your mesh file from uh, Ansys Fluent, you can easily use the .msh file and copy it in the directories of your uh, case setup. And uh, by using the Fluent Mesh to Foam command in the Ubuntu terminal, uh, you simply create your mesh file you need for the simulation setup. So this is it for uh, the commands. Now we go to the Ubuntu and have a look at how uh, we can use this command and uh, see what a case looks like in OpenFOAM software. So here we are in the Ubuntu environment. We can start the terminal. And this is the terminal of Ubuntu. You can use those commands we were talking about. For example, if you type uh, ls, you can see that we have some folders like desktop, documents, downloads in our home directory. If you want to go to the OpenFOAM installation file, you can uh, use the cd navigation command and type cd slash opt. So now you're in the opt in directory. If you type ls and press enter, you can see the OpenFOAM 10 installation and also the PowerView together in this directory. So now we want to navigate forward to the OpenFOAM 10. You can use uh, the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate through previous commands we have used. So we have used ls, we have used cd slash opt. And now you can type slash and open form 10. But instead of typing all the names, you can also use another trick to quickly select the names. You just simply write one or two letters of your directory and you press tab so ubuntu will automatically uh, select the directory you meant so by this and pressing enter now you're in the open form 10 directory you can type ls so you have these files here like tutorials so for example if you want to go to tutorials you use the arrow keys again and now typing tutorials pressing tab and pressing enter so now you're in the tutorials file if you type ls you can see what's in the inside pressing enter you can see you have the combustion compressible, incompressible, electromagnetics, and other tutorials. So the last thing I want to mention here for the commands in the terminal is how to open the PowerView. 
We're going to use PowerView to post-process our simulations in the open form. So we need to know how to open this software with the terminal. So uh, now you can go back to the op directory by using the command cd dot dot and one more time so now you're in the op directory you use ls now you can uh, navigate to the parview directory so we use cd slash opt slash para using tab and pressing enter so now we're in the parview directory and if we type ls we can see we have several folders we go to the bin so we go to the bin and now in the bin folder we have the installation and application files so for opening the PowerView, we're going to only type the word PowerView. So by typing PowerView and pressing Enter, the PowerView software will automatically launch. And now you can, uh, here you can uh, see your mesh or your results from the OpenFORM software. So this is all for Part 1 of the battery cell simulation in OpenFOAM. This was an introductory to uh, how to use OpenFOAM and how to install the uh, post-processing software like PowerView. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, please be careful about the installations. This is the basis of the OpenFOAM uh, simulation it's quite a bit tricky compared to other softwares we had before like ANSYS or MATLAB and you need to know uh, some uh, basics about uh, Linux and Ubuntu so be careful about the installation process I hope you do it in the right way and in the next sessions we're going to have the case setup and the battery cell simulation in open form. So have a good day and see you in the next session.